Hello everyone, preparing a drug for an examination is completely different from preparing a drug or understanding a drug for clinical utility. So today our discussion will be on the materia medica drug that is Agaricus muscarius and let's see how we can understand it for the clinical utility. So this is also called as Amanita muscaria and the common names were toadstool, bug agaric and the natural order it belongs to fungus. So understanding a drug mainly starts from two things. Only if we know where the medicine is acting and how it is acting, like what type of action it is producing, then only it will give us a clear cut idea regarding the action of the remedy. So here in case of agaricus, we have an alkaloid named muscarin. It produces symptoms after 12 to 14 hours of its intake and the main action of it is intoxication. Like it produces intoxicating action on brain and that will lead to vertigo and delirium. And this type of intoxication we can mainly see in case of alcohol like uh, this agaricus intoxication is very much similar to alcoholic intoxication. So we will be discussing that later. So now let's see the sphere of action of agaricus already we had discussed that it will produce the intoxication of brain. So the primary action is on brain and higher functions. And then it is followed by the action of agaricus over our spinal cord and the spinal nerves. That is none other than our nervous system. So here agaricus is having more influential action in the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Then it has its influential action over the skin producing chilblain like symptoms. So then skin. Then it has the influential action over the lung also. Then it has the influential action over the GIT. Then at last it have more prominent action over the lumbar vertebra. So before knowing regarding the symptomatology of agaricus, let us know the constitution type of agaricus where this medicine have profound influential action. So if a person is having light hair, skin and lax muscle, this agaricus will be having more particular action. And then in case of older people with weak indolent circulation and we can see the action of agaricus in drunkards and especially for their headaches and there will be bad effects after a debauch. It may be because of alcohol or sexual debauch, both of it have worst action. So here this is compared mainly with lobelia which is none other than our Indian tobacco then comes our Nuxvamica and Ranunculus bulbosus. All these three remedies are mainly related with the alcoholic delirium tremens situation. So all these remedy having intoxicating action over brain. So our agaricus is also having this similar pattern. So in order to make this conversation interesting, let us name the agaricus patient as Babu so that we will make this conversation interesting. So now let's see how Babu is reacting to the agaricus in the aspect of brain and higher functions. So here our Babu will be having more symptoms similar to cerebral excitement more than congestion. So if we are having what are uh, doubt what are all the congestion symptoms you just remember the drug belladonna. So the symptoms what belladonna is having is very similar to the cerebral congestion and our Babu is now having only cerebral excitement. So here the cerebral excitement is divided into four states similar to alcoholic intoxication. Now our Babu had took this agaricus so now he is in the first stage of slight excitement and now Babu is entering into the second stage that is he is laughing up to his cheek there will be more decided intoxication and then comes our third stage where our Babu is entering into mild delirium and rage he started shouting and he was doing all those stuffs so we can see rage and delirium in this third stage and finally our Babu is entering into the most sad state. He started crying and he's he gone into depression. 
you can see this type of characters in movies in the first stage our baba will be very cheerful and he will say i will do all those things i am more courage to do anything and everything like that they will talk and because of that they will be ending up with loquacity so now our baba is slightly more intoxicated so all his courage and loquacity turns into incoherent talking so it became very incoherent that is there is no meaning at all and our babu started having problems with the perception so perception is nothing but how we are perceiving things he lost the sense of perceiving the size of the objects also so if our babu is standing here he might be having small log but for his imagination he will think it as very big and he used to take a very long step this we can see in our second stage and now our babu is entering into the third stage that is rage and delirium so in case of delirium it is nothing but a confused state of mind and now our babu is having one another problem that is trying to injure himself with the help of knife so once uh, we are notifying that he is trying to do this we will be consoling him don't worry nothing will be happening so finally now our babu started crying by ending up in depression and lot of confusion so this is our stages of intoxication after our babu had took the agaricus now you can remember this very easily i think so now let us see what are all the symptoms our babu is getting in the spine and nerve section of agaricus so because of it he will be having jtt plus ice needles like this type of feel he will be having let me tell you what are all the things they are so first j is nothing but jerking and t is for trembling and another t is for twitching and here he will be having ice prick needle sensation also all over the body these things we can find see in general with our babu here our babu because of this jerking twitching trembling feeling he might be having one another issue that is he used to drop all the things in his hand very sad now our babu is having financial loss also because of breaking lot of things so here we can compare our babu sorry agaricus with epis mellifica epis mellifica have more intolerance towards heat so here we can differentiate easily our epis mellifica and agaricus agaricus have only problem with cold not with heat so this pattern you can easily differentiate the remedy so already i had told that this jtt and ice needle pricking sensation we can see all over the body in general so now let's see where we can see all those symptoms in case vertigo i had already told that this have intoxicating action and it will produce vertigo and delirium so here vertigo aggravation because of sunlight and because of the spasm and twitching in the muscles of eye we will be having problem with the vision mainly double vision then in case of eyelids there will be twitching of eyelids and this twitching can be compared with it another remedy that is none other than codine and in case of face we will be having twitching of facial muscles which can be compared with migel and also we can see this ice pe ice needle pricking sensation all over the face here that is a neuralgic type of sensation and in case of tongue also we will be having that trembling and already i had told that that in extreme it is because of trembling jerking and twitching the patient our babu will be dropping all the things from his hand and in case of git because of this uh, spasmodic action babu will be having hiccup also even in sleep our babu is getting affected because of the twitching and jerking of muscles so here we can think about one diagnostic condition that is myoclonic epilepsy so our uh, agaricus is having more marked action towards the epileptic form things so let's see how babu is suffering because of agaricus all over his body he is having jtt plus ice needle sensation that is jerking twitching trembling everywhere in the body that is leading to dropping things so he is undergoing lot of financial stress also 
So because of intoxication, he will be having headache, then uh, vertigo because of sunlight, and in case of uh, spasmodic action of muscles leading to double vision, then twitching of eyelids, and in case of face, he will be having twitching, and in case of tongue also trembling, and in case of GIT, there will be spasmodic hiccup, and in case of male genital, he will be having nervous prostration because of sexual excess. So because of prostration, he is ending up with sexual excess also. Very sad about Babu. Now let's see how our Babu is suffering in skin level. So in skin, he will be having more prominently itching, burning, redness and hot skin. So all of the skin symptoms are associated with needle prick sensation which we had already told. So all this pattern is collectively called as chillblains in the symptomatology of agaricus. So here all this condition is mainly aggravated by exposure to the extreme cold that is none other than frostbite or cold exposure simply we can say like this. So the symptomatology were already discussed by Dr. Guernsey and our Nash, Dr. Nash had also mentioned regarding these symptoms. If a patient is presenting with spine tenderness and sensitivity along with twitching of muscles all over the body as we had seen before and if the patient is having these skin symptoms then we can go with agaricus directly that was the suggestion by dr nash so let's see how much our babu is suffering so now our babu is compared with pulsatilla so in case of pulsatilla this chillblains is getting aggravated by heat and our Babu is having similar problem, chill blinds aggravated by cold. So we all know regarding pulsatilla, which is having a specific aggravation for heat, similar to Epis mellifica. And agaricus, here it is aggravation because of cold. So these symptoms were also seen in other parts of Babu, mainly eyelids, face, ears, which were showing this itching, burning and redness of skin associated with needle prick sensation. So now let's see the action of agaricus over the lung and heart of Babu. So you can easily remember that our Babu is suffering from tubercular diathesis. This will help you to remember easily. Even Dr. Kent had mentioned that if a patient is having catarrhal condition in lung along with night sweat. So in case of tuberculous diathesis, we will be having anxious night sweat. And along with this, if the patient is having the history of nervous symptoms, we can think about agaricus. Yes, our Babu is already suffering from all these conditions like cataral condition of lung, like any COPD we can think and if it is associated with a night sweat and uh, there is any history of nervous symptoms also. Here, adding to the symptomatology of agaricus, there is one interesting thing that the cough always ends in sneeze. And this cough is more aggravated towards morning and lying on back. Just see how Babu is suffering. He can't even sleep because of his uh, twitching of muscles during night time. And now he is having cough once he is lying on back also. So the same symptomatology was mentioned by Dr. Herring also. That if a patient is having narrow chest with convulsive cough and anxious sweats and a similar pattern of cough ending in sneezing with consumption like symptoms, then we can think about agaricus. So now Babu is getting affected by TB also. He is already having chill blind like symptoms. So now let's see how our Babu is suffering in GIT also. So just remember GIT as completely air. Okay. This will help you to remember. So now already our Babu is very sad because of all of his complaint. Now it's about his GIT which is completely tympanitic. That is completely filled with air. So because of fullness and heaviness he is having urging to pass tool. So finally our poor fellow is trying to pass tool. At that time also he was having the sensation as if rectum would burst. Very sad about him. And he is having that straining and urging even after stool. Just see how much he is suffering. There is no, not even a single ameliorating factor. Here our Babu can be compared with Mercurius Corrosivus. Which is having the more tenacious 
So because of tympanitic abdomen, either he have to exit in the form of erectation or flatulence. So in case of flatulence, it is horribly offensive. And in case of erectation, there is apple smell. It tastes like an apple smell. So this is the piteous thing regarding Babu because he cannot eat anything because of tympanitic abdomen and heaviness and fullness. But he is having apple tasting irritations. So now regarding the action on lumbar vertebra. So here I would like to share one of my case. 50 years old women. She was having severe low back pain and she was finding it difficult to sit on the chair and once she came and she had informed me regarding the symptoms she had went to the went into the waiting hall and she had lie down and there she cannot lie on back also that was creating severe pain and the patient had mentioned that she found amelioration whenever she is moving slowly and she was telling that the pain is extending to the both the lower extremities Based upon the symptomatology the patient had presented, agaricus was prescribed and the patient had mentioned a marked improvement after the prescription of agaricus. First she had told that there was no pain in lower extremities and uh, finally the severity of low back pain also got reduced with the help of agaricus. So these are all the exact symptoms which we can see in the materia medica of agaricus also. Now again we are moving towards problem of babu. So along with this low back ache, our Babu is having diagonal pain. For example, if he is having pain in right hand, he will be having problem in the left leg. And if he have problem in the left hand, he might be having problem in the right leg. So if there is this diagonal pattern of rheumatism, we can think about agaricus. So now, modalities of when our babu is having severe symptoms and when he is relieved of all the symptoms so he is having problem with cold air already we had discussed that his chill brains are getting aggravated and generally he cannot tolerate cold air and he is having problem after eating i had told regarding the tympanitic abdomen and then he is having problem after a question little bit he should have thought of before before suffering and then in case of thunderstorm, also he is having problem. So here we can compare it with Pasphorus and Sorainam. And here the most interesting uh, modality I found is whenever the pressure is given on the dorsal asti spine, our Babu went into involuntary laughter. Most ameliorating factor for Babu is moving about slowly which we had seen in the action over lumbar vertebra. This is all regarding the understanding of agaricus drug picture. So if you found this discussion interesting, just comment below the next drug what we have to discuss. And thank you so much. Happy learning.